This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Loops, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 18. Reflection, Looping and Random Numbers. When breaking down, when breaking a problem down, you often encounter elements that you want to use repeatedly in your code. Sometimes it's appropriate to write a new function, and other times it's appropriate to write a loop. Ah, an age-old question. There is no hard, fast rule as which is better, but what do you think? What circumstances would lead to lead you to writing a function versus using a loop? All right. So first off, it, plagiarism matters. As a teacher, if you're my student or whoever's student, plagiarism matters. I'm going to talk about this with you. I'm going to think about a good answer. You're going to create your own. Do not write my answer. Do not plagiarize. It is serious. Make mine better. Totally ignore it. But yeah, this is to think about an answer together. Make sure you come up with your own in your own words. All right. So think about a loop. A loop is repetition, right? If we want to do something 100 times in a row, draw dots, a loop is a really, really great solution to that. Um, the key to what I just said, at least I think, is in a row. So if we want to draw um, a... Well, we could use an ocean scene as an example, but maybe I want some fish behind my seagrass and some fish in front of the seagrass, right? and I have a draw fish function and a draw seagrass function, well, that would mean I would want to do something like draw fish, draw seagrass, draw fish, and then go on with my code, right? A loop wouldn't be great for drawing the fish there because we're trying to run something in the middle, right? We're not just drawing fish right in a row. Loops are really good for things that are happening immediately and in a row. Another important thing, as we move on with programming, Loops aren't as, I guess, responsive as functions are. You can use a function to be um, triggered by particular uh, sets of circumstance, of, of interactions, of events, right? You can make a function run based on something happening. A loop is always going to run automatically, right? And it's always going to loop through something. So events are better for in forms of abstraction. They're better for... I mean, uh, functions are better forms in form of an abstraction. Uh, they're better for complexity, but they're not great for just repetitive events, right? Loops are very useful and an excellent tool. So my answer, hmm, what would I say? Uh, so my answer, a loop is a powerful programming tool that is best used to accomplish rep accomplish a repetitive task. Code within a loop is executed again and again. It it is run many times in a row. A function is a great tool used for abstraction. A function is a great tool used for abstraction. A function is great for is excellent. at tasks that don't necessarily occur one after another. A function that also has more versatility, functions can be used in response to particular events. All right, again, um, plagiarism is serious. Do not plagiarize my answers. It is unacceptable. Um, you should especially not, because I should vary sentence beginning and kind of work on this grammatically. But stream of consciousness, that's my thoughts for this topic. Please note, as a teacher, I do know this. When you hit submit, I get your answer. Well, not if you're not my student. Uh, so make sure you're certain of your answer before hitting submit, because you are committing to that answer being submitted to your teacher. All right, so let's uh, keep going.